Hey, Nicola, um, Malone mentioned that he felt you guys played with a soft mentality. Aaron just used the word soft and scared um, to describe tonight. How can you handle the pressure of what happened in the third quarter better? What do you guys need to do to withstand that? I don't think so. We play soft. I mean, just the, the games happen like that. I don't think so. We have we, we play soft. Uh, yeah, we must we must do better job, of course, handling the the runs. I think in one moment they had, they were on the 16 to 0 run. We were the up eight or seven, and they were up seven or eight, something like that. In, in that run, and then uh, in the beginning of the fourth quarter, they went on, they won a six hole run. So, mm, just uh, when things not going our way, we just need to be more, more, uh, more uh, decisive. I think like we need we need to know what we are doing as a group. Vinny Benedetto, Denver Gazette. Hey, Nicole, Coach Malone just kind of lamented the uh, number of defensive breakdowns that led to open corner threes. I guess from your perspective, what, what happened there? I mean, the, they're reading the game, you know, they're, they're a smart team. They have a great coach. They have a great point guard. And the, uh, you can see that they're reading the game and they're trying to trying to find an open guy. You know, it's not that mm, they're best players trying to, to score they are trying to, to to create for others and i think that's why they're really uh, i think they're a really great team because they are they are they are looking for the open guy not for the best guy on the floor brandon crystal koa denver yeah nicole you said you guys need to do a better job of handling their run so how do you do that Score. I mean, I don't know. To be honest, everybody's saying this. So I'm just repeating what everybody's saying. So I don't know how you do this. Probably just score or make a stop. You know, especially when it's, uh, when it's 16 to uh, uh, run. So just uh, at least find an open look, find a, a good a good look in offense, and just try to make a stop. You know, and, and of course, tell us that they had a lot of end ones. Um, so maybe just make a hard fall, make him learn from his line, you know. Hey, Cup Toby, Nine News Denver. What did you see from uh, your, your game tonight personally and where, where you could sort of do things a little differently, do you think? Uh, I think I can be a little bit more aggressive. Like I, I think I was settling down a little bit, you know, was shooting it. I think I can be a little more aggressive, just create maybe some kind of attention. Mm. Mm. I was, I think I was shooting a little bit more, but I mean, it was kind of, I was kind of, I mean, I, mean, uh, I will take those shots any, any time. So yeah, I don't think so. It, it was a bad shots. Um, but maybe just to create a little bit um, pressure on the rim down low. Joel Rush, Forbes. Hey, Nicola. Uh, Coach Malone had some high praise for Aaron Gordon. What did you see from him tonight? He was good. Uh, he was good, you know. Mm, he was aggressive. He was attacking the paint. He was attacking the rim. He scored a lot of, uh, uh, you know, most of the, his points uh, in, the, in the restricted area. So he, he gave us the, that kind of uh, that, uh, more kind of dimension of basketball. You know, he's giving us the pressure and the pain, you know, um, he was he was really good defensively. You know, we just need to help him and help each other as a group to to to, to be better. Ashley Neville, Mile High Sports. Hey, Nicola, DeAndre Ayton um, said a lot of great things about you in the in the post game co press conference that he loves to play against you. Um, and that he said that you are the clear cut MVP this season. What is it like, you know, playing against him, that matchup? And when you hear that from a younger big man that he looks up to you, what does that mean to you? I mean, to be honest, I really like, I really appreciate, of course, 
And uh, I think he's a great, great, first of all, person. He'll, he always talk to me on the floor. So I really appreciate that. He's a good guy. He's, a, he's, he's the best in the league in the field, uh, field goal uh, percentage. So he's, he's, not seeing, he's not missing a lot of shots. Um, he knows what he needs to do. He's doing that really on a really high level. He's a really like a two-way center. You know, he's playing on the both ways on the on the floor, on the both ends of the floor. And uh, he you can see that he's talking to, uh, to his teammates. He wanna be he wanna be an even better. So for someone who is young and he have that kind of mentality, I think you can have to ask for a better, better, better mentality uh, uh, for a young guy. In, uh, um, for younger yeah, in the league, you know, so he's 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 gonna be even better, better every year. He's actually better, better every game that we play. Against. So he's uh he's he's doing a really good job. All right, we got time for one more. We're gonna end with Mike Singer from the Denver Post. Nicola, uh, Malone said that he didn't feel that MPJ was moving well in the second half. He said he tweaked his back. Um, what, what did you see from, from Mike tonight, and do you agree with Malone at all? Uh, yeah, of course I agree. I mean, uh, he, he's, a, he's a maniac about those things. He knows everything. You know, he sees everything. So if he say it's like that, it's probably, it's like, probably true. It's true. Uh, so, but uh, but we need to help him. You know, it's not it's not one guy. It's not uh, one person. Mm, we need to be a better as a group. You know, so we need to make him open shots. We need to make create for him. You know, and, and same thing he needs to create for the guys. So it's not just on Mike to move better or be better. You know, we need the group need to be better. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Nicola. Pleasure, guys. Nicola.